Uh, hi there. Um, so, uh, so in the previous videos, uh, we started talking about uh, functions which have a fractional power, um, and then uh, we, we we sort of started discussing how that could lead us to uh, the concept of concept of branch points. So, in this uh, short video, let's let's look at what a branch point is somewhat more uh, formally, and then uh, in, in in subsequent videos, let's apply it to uh, to the mapping that we have been considering before. And, uh, and and then we'll see how to work with function, uh, such multi-valued functions and extract uh, uh, single value branches from those functions that we can actually work with. Um, so, so what exactly is a branch point of a mapping? Let's just look at that uh, in, in, in this particular video. Um, so, uh, so let's say you have uh, the Z plane and the image uh, W plane. So this is the Z plane and this is the W plane. Uh, we label the real axis for in the in the z plane with uh, with the, with the symbol x and the imaginary axis with the symbol y and uh, in the double plane we have the symbol u for the real axis and the symbol v for the imaginary axis and then uh, we're considering the mapping uh, w which is some function of z. So uh, so what is a branch point and how do we define a branch point? Um, but this is not a formal definition, but this is more of uh, how do we think about branch points um, uh, in terms of what they do under the mapping. Uh, so, so let's just go through with it once and then we'll see how to sort of make it more uh, precise. So um, so let's say you are, you are, you're at some point uh, P in the Z plane and under this mapping this uh, the point P might have an image somewhere here. Uh, let's just call that F of P. Okay. So F of P is the image of the point P under the mapping W which is F of Z. Um, now, now let's do one thing. Um, starting from the point P, let's make some let's let's uh, cover an arbitrary path and return back to the point p so you're making some arbitrary loop and then you're back at the point p in the z plane now now there are two things that could happen in the w plane first in, the, in, in one of the cases uh, as you traverse this path you might traverse some path in the w plane and return back to the point f of p so if you start at p in the z plane you'll be starting at f of p in the w plane you traverse a path and come back to the point P in the Z plane. Uh, in the W plane, one possibility is that you started F of P and under this uh, path that you've tra traversed in the Z plane, you, you traverse another path, some path in the W plane and you're back at the point F of P. Um, so in this case, if this is what's happening, then, then inside this region, which is here, you don't have any branch points. This is just, this is what you'll expect uh, an ordinary function to behave like. However, there's another possibility, which is you start again under when you traverse this path um, uh, and you start at the point P in the Z plane, you're starting at the point F of P in, in, in the W plane. Uh, as you traverse this path, you might start here and then you might end up somewhere here. So let's say you, you end up at, the, at, 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 at a point which is, um, let's just call this point G. Okay, so, so this is what's happening here. You're starting at the point P in the Z plane, you traverse a path and come back to the point P. When you're when looking at the image of this path under some mapping W, uh, you're starting at the point F of P. However, as you, as you traverse the path in the Z plane, a closed loop in the Z plane, you're not coming back to the point F of P in the W plane. Rather, you start at F of P and you land up at some point G in the W plane. If this is what's happening, uh, then somewhere in this region, that you've traversed in the z-plane, there is what is called a branch point. There is a branch point enclosed here. Branch point enclosed in this region. However, if 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 as you traverse a closed loop, uh, let's say starting at point P and coming back to the point P, you do, in, in the W plane, you start at the point F of P and you do return to the point F of P. Uh, as you traverse one loop in the, in, in the Z plane, you return to the point F of P uh, in the W plane, then there is no branch point enclosed inside this region. Um, so this is sort of um, a, a sort of a geometric way of or, or actually what's what's going on when you have a branch point in a region, but it doesn't tell us what where is that branch point and how do we actually work with these branch points. Um, so, so 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 in the next uh, part of this video, let's 
specifically consider the mapping uh, w is let's say z to the power one third which we have started looking at in the previous video and and, and and with that mapping as an example let's see how we apply this rule where the branch point is in that case uh, and then we'll sort of work um, uh, we'll, we'll talk more about these concepts uh, in, in some future videos then um, so i hope to see you there and thanks for watching